Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm sitting down to talk with you about a very highly requested subject, safe stretching. Uh, and more importantly, the natural stretching method and how to actually do it. Now, there is unfortunately a ton of misinformation about safe ear stretching and safe stretching for piercings online. You'll see people recommending tape and tapers and all sorts of crazy things. And you'll see lots of stories of people talking about how painful stretching is, how much it hurts, how uncomfortable it is, how their ears bleed, all of this stuff. It's a ton of misinformation. Stretching does not have to be this intimidating, difficult, painful process. Safe stretching, when done correctly, using methods like natural stretching is actually completely painless, super comfortable, and super easy. So let's get into it. Now, just as a baseline, when I say natural stretching, I mean allowing your ears to naturally loosen up and be able to accommodate the next size. Honestly, ear stretching is kind of a misnomer. It'd be far more accurate to call it ear filling because the scar tissue tubes of our piercings naturally over time soften and relax and expand. Not a ton, but enough to where we could easily fit a slightly larger size without much effort. And yes, that means if you've had regular first lobe piercings for for years and years and years, you could probably slide in a 16 gauge or a 14 gauge piece of jewelry with no effort or tools needed. It would just slip right in because your skin is elastic and naturally over time that piercing has loosened up. When we're stretching, we're using the skin's natural elasticity to our benefit. So we put in a pair of earrings or plugs. We give the body some time, typically anywhere from two to three months, sometimes longer, sometimes less, really depends on your body and your skin. Over time, that skin naturally loosens and relaxes. And then the next one millimeter increment or smaller increment, if your ears are stubborn, just slides right in with no effort, no need for tools, anything like that. If you're interested in more information about natural stretching, I do have a whole stretching guide on my website. It's very comprehensive. It goes over everything you might want to know about natural stretching. Um, so I definitely suggest reading that along with this video. And as an aside, if you want to see me make a video about natural stretching, more in how it works, all that stuff, uh, let me know in the comments down below. So to start, all you need for this are some single flare plugs. I personally really like glass for stretching because it's very affordable, it's very hypoallergenic, it comes in lots of cool colors, and you're not spending a bunch of money on something that you're not going to wear for very long. Um, so here we have some glass plugs. These are from Glassware Studios. They're one of my favorite glass companies for single flare plugs on the market uh, and some lubricant. In my studio, I use single use surgical lubricant. Uh, at home, any water-based body safe lubricant works completely fine for stretching. Uh, and oils also work as well. Things like vitamin oil, vitamin E oil and jojoba oil if you're not sensitive to them. Always do a patch test before you're putting any kind of products on your skin just to make sure you're being safe and you're not gonna have an allergic reaction. Now, today we have my wonderful model, Nancy Kate, who I have been helping her stretch her ears for over a year now. Um, I've done all her stretches professionally in studio, um, but obviously a lot of folks are not gonna necessarily want or be able to stretch their ears professionally in studio. So if you're doing this at home, I suggest stretching after a hot shower. A nice long hot steamy shower gives your skin time to loosen up, gives your lobes some added moisture, the heat is really beneficial, and just kind of makes things glide in a little bit easier. So if you're stretching at home, after a nice long hot shower is the best time to stretch. Before stretching, I always suggest massaging the lobe first. I'm gonna use the surgical lubricant that we have at my studio for this, but at home, again, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, any water-based personal lubricant, all work. Uh, and we're just gonna give the lobe a pretty good massage. And I do use a decent amount of pressure for this massage. You don't want it to be painful, but I re wanna really massage and loosen up and soften those tissues and kind of prepare things for stretching. And I'll massage each lobe for a couple of minutes before beginning to stretch. Once you're finished with massaging your lobe and everything is happy and ready to go, I put a little bit of extra lubricant on the back of my single flare plug and then just gently insert the plug. Uh, and it's that easy. We just stretched Nancy Kate's lobes from four gauge to two gauge, one millimeter, and the plug just slipped right in. 
With natural stretching, all of the work has already been done over time. I last stretched Nancy Kate's ears about three months ago now. Uh, and so just by allowing the lobe time to relax, allowing the tissue time to expand and become looser, the next size just slides right in. There's no tapers needed. There's no force needed. There's no bleeding. There's no discomfort. Um, and as you can see in this clip ear, her lobes are so healthy. And this is because we have stretched slowly over time. We've never rushed or skipped sizes and we've never forced stretches with a tape. There have been times where she's come in to see me for a stretch and I have checked and her ears have not been ready and so we haven't stretched them yet. We have listened to her body, listened to when it was ready, and stretched up only as the ears naturally loosened to allow us to do so. I think what intimidates a lot of people about this method of stretching is they feel like there's no way the plug will just slide in without pain or force or things like that. But I promise you, if you're naturally stretching correctly and you're giving your body enough time between stretches, it really just is that easy. The plug will just glide right in, no issues, no problems. It may feel a little tight, but you won't have pain, you won't have bleeding, you won't have any of those awful things you deal with when you see people talk about forcing stretches with tapers. And things like that. Now anytime I talk about stretching my comments are always filled with well I tried this but this isn't working for me I tried that but that isn't working for me so quick rundown if you're having problems with certain sizes at home one double check the material and quality of your jewelry if you're wearing something lower quality something that you're potentially reacting to that can prevent your ears from naturally loosening up and being ready for the next size so for example if you're wearing acrylic or low quality glass or surgical steel that you're reacting to your lobes are not going to want to naturally loosen up B double check the actual sizes of the plugs that you have. I cannot tell you how many times someone has said, I tried natural stretching and it just didn't work. I've been trying to go from a six to a four for months and it's just not happening. And I say, well, measure the millimeters of your plugs, get a caliper and actually measure. And they measure, they get back to me and they're like, oh, I actually have a two gauge here. It was sold to me as the wrong size. So actually measure your plugs and make sure. Um, C is to do lots of regular massage and really baby your ears, nurture your ears, massage them with an oil or a personal moisturizer or water-based lubricant, whatever works best for your skin regularly. I know plenty of folks who massage their lobes daily. When I was stretching my ears, I would take my plugs out and massage them every single day to try and help with that elasticity. And also consider half sizes. Some people may have scarring in their lobes from improperly done piercings, especially if you were pierced with a piercing gun as a little kid. Some people have skin conditions that can cause them to stretch slower. Some people's bodies are just not as good at stretching and naturally loosening up as others. So half sizes are really great and lots of reputable companies like Glassware Studios, Gorilla Glass, and South Shore Adornments will do in between sizes. So they'll do 0.5 millimeter increment jumps and that can be super beneficial if you're someone who has really stubborn lobes. But this is just a little walkthrough on how to naturally stretch your lobes at home. I hope this helps uh, and please consider reading the ear stretching guide on my website if you want more information about how to safely and healthily stretch your ears. Uh, that's going to be linked in the comments down below. And if you want to see me make a whole video about how natural stretching works, why it's effective and like the science behind it, uh, let me know in the comments because I'd love to chat about that with y'all. Uh, I hope this was beneficial and obviously if you like the content I'm putting out, please like and subscribe and hopefully we hang out soon. Have a great rest of your day.